You are now watching a promotional video created by the students in the IT Academy. What is the IT Academy? The IT Academy began about five years ago during the 2011-2012 school year. It provides students with the opportunity to learn how to code websites, computer repairs, programming, and even app design. The freshmen this year definitely love it. Because I actually feel like I'm at home with it because it's something I, I personally enjoy to do, so I think it's more than I thought I would. The um, work, it's like easy, but it's also hard. Like It's fun learning because it's easy to relate to the stuff that we get. And then also, we get to work together. We're like a family. We learn about the components of it, like, yeah, of the PC computer. and laptop. Yeah, with the different Nintendo. We learn what not to do with certain um, cleaning tools and how different functions work. Please, you're gonna have so, so much, much fun. fun. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Yeah, like it's such a family. But like, not only will you be like open with like IT stuff, it's like you can come and just content to anything and they'll help you. It's like pretty cool, so you're gonna have a lot of fun in the academy. But the fun goes on in sophomore year, junior year, and even senior year. There are different pathways to take a student can take. The student can choose to continue their IT experience in network or software engineering. Making websites. Yeah. Creating websites. Yeah. Creating ones. It's definitely fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just mostly learning stuff and learning about the websites because it was kind of cool. Yeah, and coding, like that's really fun to do. Like, doing practice exams on CIW, and I think it'll be worth it. Fantastic. Yes, I think it would be worth it because then you can get scholarships off that stuff and you can get into uh, like an IT college and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it would definitely be worth it. And I've been like, trying to study stuff like trying to get my knowledge of IT in general. Well, for me, since I'm taking both web development and um, hardware, I have to study more because I have to take like four certifications. And like I wanted to do that because I want to make a lot of money. So get your education now, make a lot of money in the future. Stay focused. Do all your work and take really good notes. Mm -hmm. Everything, mm -hmm. like every little thing. Important. They want to come in first. They have to like like want to do this stuff. Like they want to put their mind to this. Yeah. That is definitely true. Like, yeah, I mean, study. I mean, like it was really hard for me to get in the academy in the first place. So I would say work as hard as you can in IT. It's good. I remember when I was in the eighth grade, we had to take that test in order to get into the academy. That test was so hard, but it was so worth it because now we have all these different experiences, and it's actually a really lot of fun to be in here. I remember this quote. It's like. Leaders aren't for today, leaders are for tomorrow. So don't think about what you want today, think about what you want in your future. Working in computer science is sort of easy, you just have to understand the concept of it all. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much just learning coding now. So it's not really anything difficult, you just have to make sure that you're using and understanding. And like, when, she, when the teacher's explaining it to you, make sure you're focused so that you don't miss it and end up with the wrong code. In a class we do networking, so we work with like routers, switches, and uh, it's a lot of hands-on work. We do a lot of uh, uh, like command line interfaces where we type in uh, commands to make a router do a certain thing. I don't know if you understand me of that. Like, they guide you through your studies, but in the end, you find your own path when you're in this academy. It's difficulty varies on how much you've learned and how much you pay attention. If you pay attention and work hard, it'll do just fine. Um, classes we had before, well, classes that I had before, it helped me a lot, like coding sense class. Yeah, it was really helpful to me because we did a lot of coding and we do a lot of coding now. So it helps with knowledge, like more or less what you know. It's a relatively easy class. You know, it's not like you're gonna stress out over it or anything and the homeworks are pretty simple. So as long as you like, make sure you are on top of everything, you should be fine. I mean, I think it's like, 
People who have a knack for technology, it's not that hard because you enjoy what you do. But you do got to pay attention because there's a lot of things that you don't understand you're not going to know. And that's what the class is for to teach you new things and have you learn new experiences. So it's kind of hard, but if you enjoy doing it, it's not that bad. And there are a lot of things you need to remember, like key terms and commands that you have to know in order to pass. They all build up on top of each other. So that's one of the hardest courses offered in the IT Academy. You're going to be learning about networking and a lot of system parts, such as the motherboard and other stuff you're going to use. A lot of that doesn't have to do with what we're learning now, but it's still really helpful to know for like the future. So like, pay attention and don't just brush it off like it's easy. It'll be helpful, especially if you want to go into like doing stuff with computers. Um, but also, y'all will have a pretty good teacher for that class in Mr. Coddington. So you don't have too much to worry about. He's really helpful. And don't slack at all. You really need to be like on your P's and Q's and just make sure like you know what you're doing. It's fun. Very beneficial towards like college and stuff. It looks very good on resumes. And it's not that hard. You just need to. It's like every other class. Uh, good luck. Yeah. I picked up the computer and built it at 11, took apart stuff and just had fun with it and I was just hooked on ever since. What I like about it is that basically it actually helps you now than you would have done before because you know how people don't really know that many things. Well, the internet and IT helps you, that type of stuff. Networking, all that stuff you need in later life, you learn it now so then you have more experience with it. What I like about this pathway is that not only you can use what you learned in school, you could also use it in your future. It wasn't something I was really comfortable with at the beginning, really challenging, but over time uh, it became easier and I think I grew more as a person. It gives us like time to actually work and go on our own path and work on our own time and but still meet a deadline of course. But um I also like the fact that we work with robots, resources we have available in our classes. Because it's different when you take a regular class like English or calculus. Work that we had to do involving AP computer science, I was actually able to pass the AP computer science exam. Be grateful for it because I really want to go into networking when I go to college and everything. It actually interests me. It doesn't bore me like other classes. I, mean, I didn't think I would do it, but I did because I also passed the AP Computer Science test. Because they allowed me to make my own schedule and basically use what I know to build apps or go work for different companies and get paid for that. So, that all the material I've learned in um, programming computers, um, all these opportunities have opened up now and I can take advantage of them because I'm fully knowledgeable of what I'm going to be doing. So my it was actually a group project. My group decided to make a website for the school's gardening club, and um, we succeeded. So it was kind of a nice balance of like being in the classroom and being out of the classroom. So yeah, that was my favorite <clears throat> time. Try your best in that course and try to enjoy it. <laughs> Don't take it for granted because you actually get benefits from it, like certification, you get scholarships from these. So it actually prepares you. So. I think it's just, oh, technology, I'm not really that much of technology, I might want to do something else in my life, but yeah, this actual academy might actually help you with your later job in life. My advice for middle schoolers is to not give up when you think something is challenging. The IT Academy helped me get a summer job through the YCC program by a job at Prince George's Hospital. I work in the department of IT over there, and many people might think that IT is not applicable in the medical field or like at a hospital, but it is because technology is a big part of it. That's what runs the hospital, so I really appreciate what YCC and the IT Academy has done. Don't be afraid of failure. You get so hung up on like not getting that one like A all the time. Like you're gonna put yourself in a mental box. Basically never give up. Uh, my piece of advice would be to definitely not procrastinate. Um, even if you think that you're going to do the whatever work incorrectly. It's like it's better to try and fail than to uh, not try at all because you learn more from that, and uh, it really it helps you not fall behind uh, the rest of the four years in high school. Be confident because even if you fail things in these classes, you're doing things that people who are four times your age can't do, and you're passing classes that people twice your age or even more just can't pass. I think it's like being able to talk about the people.
it's a good experience from being um, people that like know what you're doing. That's really what I miss most. It's helped me a lot, especially my experience on, on resume. Got me a job in the county as a tech, so that's good and as well. Um, I'm studying computer engineering at the University of Maryland. Keep your head up. If it's going to get hard, don't quit. The IT Academy needs you, so you get the chance to sign up for it. There's amazing teachers that will help you get certified and recommend you for job opportunities. Make sure you ask questions if you need clarification. We can answer everything to the best of our abilities.